Welcome to Affinity Designer. In this video, I'll show you how to export specific areas of your design using Export Persona, and how to exclude particular content from exporting as well. With your chosen design open, click this icon to switch to Export Persona. In this persona, we can create export areas using the Layers panel. From the Tools panel, select the Slice Selection tool and then simply select a layer, group, or individual object from the Layers panel and click Create Slice. When you create a slice from a layer, this icon displays on the left. If the slice has been created from a child layer, its parent will display this icon on the left. If you have content which is part of an export area but which you do not wish to export, such as text which will be generated from a database, you can hide it from the export by switching off this toggle on the right. The content will show in Draw and Pixel Persona, but not in Export Persona. If you're exporting using the Export dialog and wish to exclude objects marked to be excluded, you must remember to select this option. This final toggle on the right hides or shows the content on the page and affects every persona. If it is hidden in this way, this layer will not export, regardless of the visible in export setting. As well as the indicators here, export areas are displayed on the page and reports export details such as size, name, file format, and color format. In the top right, you will also find a small circle. This indicates that the slice's size and position is based on the original layer you selected to create it. When you do resize a slice, the small circle in the top right changes to a small square to show it no longer matches the layer originally used to create it. If you reposition a slice, the small circle in the top right changes to a small triangle. If the customised slice is not to your liking, you can revert your adjustments by selecting the slice and on the context toolbar, selecting Revert to Auto Sized. Finally, all slices created from the Layers panel are listed in the Slices panel. The slices are given the same name as the layer it was created from, though you can change this to anything you want. And it also displays this icon on the left to indicate the slice was created from a layer. Your slices are now ready for exporting, and we discuss this in our other video tutorials and our comprehensive help system, which are available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.